let's check out all the newest health, sleep and recovery stuff on the newest Garmin Venue 3 and Vivo Active 5 watches. Let's start with the HRV. This feature was only available on the much higher end Garmin devices previously and it's finally come down to these affordable ones. So if you click on it, uh, unfortunately if you don't wear this watch for around three weeks it won't show you uh, how is your uh, HRV basically um, doing. If it's high, if it's low compared to your baseline and for the first three weeks you will only see the average uh, value for each night. So for my last night it was 38 and there is a graph on how, to, how it climbs and it also shows 7 day average of this value. On the app it looks like this, again you can see for one day for uh, and trends for uh, longer times and this feature actually is very cool if we tap and zoom here. So this is when I was basically went to sleep and as I was sleeping you can see how the values increase and as I'm recovering basically <laughs> this is really really cool to see. The only really downside of this HRV on this watch is that it only records this value during night while you sleep. So if you're not wearing this watch while you sleep you won't really get any use out of this feature as it won't be recorded. I really have no idea why it doesn't provide value for whole day. I really wish it did that. Next is the body battery. You might have seen this feature on some older devices as well. However, this time it's actually way improved from what I could see. Also, it has uh, got way more details in it. Let's explore it. And again, it shows a chart here like this. It hasn't been recording all day for me since I haven't worn it all day. But uh, yeah, it shows a more detailed chart and also uh, the body battery actually works better than on the older devices. It's, it seems like it's improved. Also now we can see the factors that affects your body battery in values here. So for example, uh, this night's sleep gave me plus 48. Then I walked in the morning a bit and it uh, dropped my score by 7. And then I took a nap. Oh, it actually didn't actually affected it so, but yeah. And this is what it looks on the phone app. Again, you got for one day and seven day chart here. It shows all the values. Okay, let's check out this one day. And this is for yesterday. So it says at the start I had 96 and by the end of day 21. Okay, and let's check out the chart. And the chart is really amazing on the thing. So we can clearly see as I went to sleep uh, the body battery is climbing, climbing, climbing up till I wake up basically. However, it also shows a stress here. I wasn't very uh, sleeping very well at this time, at the night. So it showed that uh, yeah, my body battery wasn't charging that good and it's not fast increase. Then again, it shows everything as you go through your day, how it affects you and yeah, it's pretty cool. If you don't wear your watch for some time, it just gives you estimate how much it might have dropped. And again, as I went to sleep, the next uh, night shows blue again and starts to rise slowly. Okay. And on the app itself also it says these factors here. Next is the stress uh, app that also has been improved just as much as the body battery thing. And on the older ones, yeah, it was the stress thing was all over the place. It couldn't really be trusted that much to showing very high values. And yeah, I didn't look at that much. However, this time it's actually very, very good. And it provides 
very very good uh, real-time data as you how you actually feel and how much uh, overall body load you have on yourself by the way this uh, stress thing isn't a mental stress it's like a mental plus uh, physical uh, stress and basically everything else combined so it's not a don't consider that you have high stress levels just because it says and it also shows a chart how your stress level was uh, during several days as well and this is how it looks in zap it shows you uh, for how long time you had restful a time low medium high stress explore more and if you click the seven day again it shows your daily stuff and again if we scroll down it also shows a similar chart here and it's a uh, it's pretty much the same stuff you are seeing in the body battery uh, body battery tab so it's not really different next uh, we got a uh, recovery hours also on this watch uh, we don't really have the training readiness score that uh, some other watches have on this one only the recovery hours and I don't really find this feature very useful at all uh, for example uh, when you're doing uh, stuff around the house even if it's kind of physically demanding and you feel you need recovery it doesn't really track it only really if you start an exercise track the exercise go for a walk or stuff like that uh, so yeah and uh, to give you an example yesterday I walked for around half an hour and it gave me nine hours recovery from that and uh, I did some running a few days ago and it gave me uh, almost two days recovery from that so uh, I don't I don't find this feature that useful honestly and then finally all the sleep uh, stuff on this watch so you got a sleep score on these watches now and it basically gives you a value uh, 100 is the maximum and it says how much you slept and if you click on it it shows your quality duration and stuff like that if you scroll down it uh, shows all the timeline on your, of your sleep and what are your stages again there's some uh, time you spent in various stages here and then a graph that shows average values in the app you can see all the stuff much better and it also shows you these metrics during your sleep for example your average overnight hrv your respiration rate and how much body battery charged up and then you also got a sleep coach so it says i need eight hours tonight however when i woke up today it said eight hours and 20 minutes then during the day i actually took a 25 minute nap and the sleep coach actually decreased in uh, in time so that's pretty cool and it says i need balanced sleep and there are some factors that affect it basically and that's really it about this then you get naps finally on this watch as well so it automatically tracks these naps you don't really have to uh, press and hold something or do this like that it automatically, automatically traps tracks them and this feature actually uh, works surprisingly really well it's really can detect it when you are taking a nap and shows a very very good estimate in the time you were, you were actually asleep and this is really cool uh, for example if you are just uh, laying down and uh, trying to fool this watch I tried to fool it basically I lay down for 20 minutes and didn't move much uh, and I was kind of relaxed it didn't track anything yeah so that's cool and also it has a nap timer you can start let's check it out we can set some time and yeah and then it will also turn on the sleep mode so if you're taking this nap in a, in a dark room it won't disturb you and then also we have health snapshot on this watch as well I know some watch previously had them as well uh, yeah but it's very nice feature to actually show and 
what you basically do, you place, uh, obviously place the watch on your wrist as you're wearing it normally. And then you start it uh, to prepare for around 10 seconds. It should start any moment now. And it basically measure all your vitals for two minutes and give you uh, an average of those. It measures the heart rate, as you can see, the stress level, uh, blood oxygen level, also respiration rate, and finally the instant two minute average HRV. You can check out the sample reading here. Okay, and yeah, it shows my average SpO2 was 98, average eight, heart rate, and shows a graph, respiration rate. This is over the two minute time frame it measures, so you can get a good understanding. And also the HRV for the two minutes. And those basically were all the newest features on these watches. If you want to see my complete review of this watch and all the a complete walkthrough of all the functions and menus on this watch. You can check out my channel, I have posted them there. Okay, I hope this was useful. Make sure to hit the like button. See you!